introduce you to yourself. We're coming close to the end of this Mercury retrograde. And like with most Mercury retrogrades, you know, some people new to the spiritual community and um, even more solidified spaces in the spiritual community. People start asking all these questions about these retrogrades when Mercury comes around. Mostly Mercury retrograde because this Mercury is the hot topic. So let's talk about retrogrades. Retrograde. All the planets go retrograde. Okay, the sun does not go retrograde. The moon does not go retrograde. But the other planets, both inner and outer, the inner planets will be the more personal planets, the ones that will direct you, um, directly affect you. Okay, so when you get to like Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto. Those are outer planets. Those affect more of a generational um, energy, a more collective, universal, humanistic type energy. Okay? That doesn't mean that it doesn't affect you personally, but that's usually what it does. Um, but these inner planets, Venus, Mercury, Mars, these three planets circulate the sun faster than earth does okay these planets will affect you personally when they go retrograde what is a retrograde a retrograde is an optical illusion okay it looks like the planet is moving backwards the planet is not actually moving backwards the planet is moving faster than the earth which presents this illusion of being moving. You have been sitting at the light and somebody creep up next to you and you feel like you're moving. It's like that. That's the best way I can describe it. Y'all can see up here um, this movement. That, that That's how it goes back. So, this we, so we're going to talk about this Mercury retrograde. So, um, what inspired me to do this video is a question was asked. Somebody was like, everybody talk about, you know, old people reaching out to them. And this is not happening to me. So does that mean that the retrograde does not affect me? No. That is a generalization. Okay. And it's a generalization because of Mercury. What it stands for and where it is. Astrology is a really layered and really complicated science. Okay. So with astrology. First you want to look at Mercury went retrograde where? In the sign of Aquarius. So, what do we know about this? We know Mercury is the planet of communication. We know that naturally Mercury rules the third house, which is the house of communication. It also rules things like day-to-day -day travel, um, commerce, contracts, um, sometimes relationships with siblings, um, your car, just stuff like that. And so, because it deals with communication... And it is a retrograde. Retrogrades are periods of do-overs. So, you know how sometimes you think about things in life and you say, if I had it to do over again. You can have it to do over again. That's what the retrogrades are for. If you're willing to do the introspection to say, hey, you know what? This particular retrograde is coming. Let me look at my chart and see if this retrograde applies to me in this particular area. And you look to see if that energy matches up then you can have your do-over for whatever that was if you're willing to pay that much attention, okay? These are do-over periods in life. Like, people are like, ain't no cheat codes in life. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. If Can you get into the spiritual sciences? Yes, it is. You can definitely have these do-overs, okay? A lot of people find themselves going through the same fucking scenario every time a particular retrograde comes up. I never really had any issues with Mercury retrograde itself for one year, me and Mercury went to war for like two years on my fucking phone. Every time a retrograde came, I, my phone was fucked. I was like, what the fuck is happening? And the thing about it was, fucking, if you fucked it up, you need to spend the money and just get another one. When I started trying to paper gum and, and, and uh, paper clip and bubble gum wrap, my phone together and actually just said fuck it when he broke 
just went on and did what I needed to do. I stopped having them damn problems. And it wasn't like, oh, the phone cracked. And it, no, that bitch would cut the fuck off. Like, I ain't got no communication with the world. So, that's just one little experience. This time, I didn't really have too much, um, really going on with retrograde so much. But, that energy that's coming up tomorrow, I, I already been feeling it today. Okay, and we're going to talk about that. But, what you want to do is you want to see where the sign has gone retrograde at. And you want to look at the degrees as well because that matters. Just because it went retrograde in Aquarius. Well, if you got a, a planet in Aquarius but it's in the second degree, that's not going to really apply to you. Because you got to pay attention to the orbs. That's how you get aspects. So if it's in the 6th degree. It's not going to really aspect. With the 29th degree. Okay. Orbs that affect inner planets. Are usually anywhere from 8 to 10 degrees. So. With that going. Retrograde in the 29th degree. Of Aquarius. You're going to go all the way back to. Possibly the 19th degree. Any fixed signs because Aquarius is a fixed sign. You want to look at all the fixed signs <clears throat> and see if you have any planets that are in those particular orbs. Okay? If anything I'm saying don't make sense to y'all, put it in the comments. I can make another video. Okay? Um, You want to look for planets inside of those orbs to see what the aspects are. Okay? Aspects are Conjunctions, favorable. Trines, favorable. Sextiles, favorable. In conjuncts, not so favorable. Squares, not so favorable. Um, oppositions, definitely not favorable. <clears throat> okay? You want to look at these aspects, how these energies are affecting each other, where they affecting each other, and all of that stuff. Once you understand this, then you will know how to utilize that energy. <sighs> When a planet goes retrograde, the power that is usually expressed is simply muted because it means to go inside and reflect. The planet is going inside to reflect. It is time for you to pay attention to the other energies that are present and how you can execute moving those energies when that goes into effect. So, with this retrograde still going on, there's a whole bunch of other shit going on in the cosmos as well. On Monday, we got this Pisces moon coming in, and it's feeding a stellar, okay? So, we got Aquarius uh, popping, baby. The retrograde is happening in Aquarius, and so is this damn stellar. The stellar got Jupiter in it, Saturn, Mercury, and Venus, okay? So, with all of this coming together, it's a good time for art, daydreaming, and whispering all them Weak nothing's in the air, and that's because of the damn Pisces moon. Pisces love they romance. Because they're a water sign. So they can do that. Okay? But, after that, by the time you get to Wednesday, baby, get ready. Because the shit about to hit the fan. Okay? Um, I don't know if y'all caught my video earlier, but I told a motherfucker I'm about to be a bully. That's because that bully energy is... Right on up there. And we aligns with the planets and the stars, baby. Okay? Because we in it to win it and we plays for keeps, bitch. So, <laughs> um, when Wednesday come around, you're going to be looking at Saturn and Uranus sitting up in Aquarius and Taurus. Okay? This is going to create a square. Not a favorable place to be. But the Aquarian energy is that rebellious energy. And that rebellious energy coming through like a bully to fuck shit up. So you sitting over there playing meek and mad all this shit. You gonna get ate the fuck up. Okay. Now it's time to bring your savage out. Being playing calm, cool, and collected ain't gonna help you win nothing right now. Because that ain't the energy that's being put out there. However, when you get close to the end of the weekend, Mercury will be coming out of retrograde. And when Mercury's starting to go direct, 
It's going to bring more mental clarity because Mercury also deals with your intelligence. It's going to bring more mental clarity about how stuff going on and send out more harmonious energy to all this active energy that's going on in the cosmos, okay? So, um, just do your thug thistle and make it through the week. It's going to be a particularly tough week because we do got that retrograde we got that retrograde going on. I mean, look at the weather. Look at the travel. People having car accidents and shit. I don't know. Like, I'm in Texas, so I don't know where most of y'all are. But uh, I think earlier in the week, or if it wasn't last week, uh, Dallas had a damn 100-plus car pile up. Okay? That's, that's, that's Mercury retrograde energy all day. Um, this weather... Affecting travel, roads have been shut down. That's Mercury retrograde all day long. And then you got this other stuff coming on. You got this retrograde happening in the sign of Aquarius, which is the sign of the humanitarian, which is the sign that rules the house of friendships and stuff like that. So you may find old friendships trying to resurface, you know. Um, don't necessarily mean you need to do that. Take some time, think about it, see if it's worth it. Most of the time, I can tell you, he's not worth it doing a retrograde to be handling these relationships. Like I said, retrogrades are do-overs. If you miss your do-over, trust and believe me, the lesson will come back again. And usually, the lesson gets a little worse every time you have to go get it. So, if you can pay attention to get it the first, second, maybe even third time, do that. If not, you know, some people just go through cycles all the time and they never fucking get it. Don't be that person. But that's what retrogrades do. So, if you understood, like the video. Subscribe. Come through. If you ain't understand, put it down there. You didn't understand. If you got a question, put down there your question. Come in. All of that shit. I look forward to hearing from y'all. So, I can go ahead and go ahead and get y'all this about Shane. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talk to me. I can talk to y'all. Because... Um, I got a little knowledge and wisdom about a whole bunch of different shit about a whole lot of different things. So, y'all help me help y'all and we can make this shit do what it do and get it popping and crack a lacking. Those of you that need help looking at your personal chart, you can book a consultation or you can actually book a natal chart reading and we can go through your chart. Y'all can do that on the website. Website is in the description box. I look forward to hearing from you. And I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and light. And we see you next video. If you haven't done so already, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Come see us at the website if you need some spiritual assistance. Stay dark and lovely while spreading your love.